this related rate is a related rate. I call it a right triangle example. Um, it's a good application. So we're talking about in this example, a police cruiser approaching a right angled intersection from the north and chasing a speeding car that has turned the corner is now moving straight east. So we have an intersection north and east. And our police car is up here. And let's call it the other car C is down there. When the cruiser is 0.8 miles north of the intersection and the car is 0.6 miles to the east, the, the police determine the radar with radar that the distance between them is increasing at 15 miles per hour. If the cruiser is move, moving at 60 miles per hour at the instant of that measurement, what is the speed of the car? So I'm looking for, we're looking for the speed of the car. So we're looking for DC, DT. I'm looking for that when a few things are going on. When the police car is 0.8 miles from our intersection and our car is 0.6 miles from the intersection. We know that the distance, I'm going to call this distance there D, we know DD, DT, is increasing at a rate of 15 miles per hour, because that's a rate, miles per hour is a rate, and cruiser's moving 60 miles per hour. So our police are moving at a rate of negative 60 miles per hour. The reason it's negative is because he's moving towards the intersection. Okay, so let's write an equation for what we have here. We have an equation here. If I make that side of our triangle P and this side C, we have our equation to be P squared plus C squared equals the distance squared between them. So then I'm going to take the derivative with respect to time. Okay, so now you can divide everything by 2, so I'm just really going to kind of ignore these 2's in here. So now I'm going to fill in. Our police cruiser is 0.8 miles from our intersection. Our police cruiser is moving at negative 60. C is 0.6. DC, DT is what I'm looking for. The distance. So the distance that's between them. Use this P squared plus C squared equals D squared, and that's going to end up being 1. And DD, DT is equal to 15. Now it's just a matter of solving for this dc dt. I have negative 48 plus 0.6 dc dt equals 15. I go through, I'm going to go up here and solve for dc dt is going to end up equaling 105 miles per hour. Because I add the 46 over, then I divide by 0.6. Okay? So the cruiser, what is the speed of the car? The speed of our car is 105 miles per hour. That's super fast. 